Blonde Affairs. I'm Candy. Today we have an exclusive on a cosmopolitan theme. Over to you, Mandy. Thank you, Candy. We're here at Courtney's house where exactly a year ago Courtney got her cosmopolitan stolen from a cosmopolitan thief. We're just going to knock on her door and see if she's home. She's going to tell us about the horrendous story of the crime that happened a year ago. Can I help you? Hello, Courtney. We're here from Blonde Affairs and we'd like to interview you about your cosmopolitan robbery. Can you tell us what really happened? Oh my God. My God. That's my got stolen, like, a year ago. Truly horrifying. Can we come in? Yes, I'll come in. Okay. Thank you, Courtney, for taking us into your beautiful home, which has yellow benches. Anyway, we would just like to ask you a couple of questions about your cosmopolitan robbery attack last year. No one would dare to interview you on this attack but we cover the real significant stories. So Courtney, can you tell us what really happened exactly a year ago? It was about a year ago that this guy just ran past me. He stole my cosmopolitan. He was tall, he had brown hair and blue eyes. Blue eyes? Wow. Yeah, blue eyes and he had really Really, really big hands. Uh, oh, yeah, hands. <laughs> oh, that is truly shocking. So, Courtney, what has this year been for you? What trauma have you actually gone through? I've been to see doctors and psychiatrists and dentists and orthodontists and pharmaceutical people and just... <gasps> An exorcist? exorcist? Yep, exorcist. And now I've just figured out I can't live without my cosmopolitan. I have to sleep with it every night. I just can't bear to let it go. <sighs> Courtney, on behalf of Blonde Affairs, we have just given you a year subscription to Cosmopolitan Magazine! <laughs> really? No, not really. But all you need to do is enter your name in the drawer for your chance to win. Back to you, Candy. Thank you for that shocking report. Next in news, we have a girl forced to live in the shopping centre due to her incurable disease, shopaholicism. Mandy reports. Sophie is a shopaholic. After going bankrupt earlier this year, she was forced to live within the shopping centre. She wanders around while the shops are closed on her own, longing to try on clothes at the front of the stores. Just later on, we caught up with the shop assistant. Courtney, tell us what you think about the shopaholic hanging around your shops. Oh my god, she's so annoying. This one time I had to invite her in because she was leaning against the glass and like I had to clean it. And it was just so disgusting. She's so irritating. Is she very greasy? Yes, very greasy. I have to use like two paper towels. It's disgusting, really. So how did you become bankrupt? Well, I, I maxed out my credit card because I bought a Louis Vuitton bag. But then it wasn't until after that I realized the Louis Vuitton bag was fake. <laughs> oh, um, so um, why do you live in a shopping centre? Because I have no money left, and because the human center makes me feel at home. I love it. So, so what's your opinion on shopaholicism? Um, I'm not buying any today, thanks. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I've never heard of anything like that. Um, shopaholicism? No, I don't think I've ever heard of such thing. Well, I hated how people say shopaholicism isn't a disease. I'm living proof that it actually is. I just, I go shopping and I try and close, but I can't buy it. It's just so hard to go without buying anything. It's really horrifying. Breaking news. Just in, a woman hasn't had a makeover in five years. Mandy reports live on the scene. What's happening, Mandy? 
That's right, Candy. We're here with Barbara's friend. Can you tell us, why won't Barbara get a makeover? I just don't know. She says it's something about the beauty on the inside. That's what counts. That just doesn't make sense. Who says that? I mean, seriously. So what do you want Barbara to do? I just don't know. But she needs to do something before she's, like, beyond repair. It's just... <laughs> That's terrible. And we're going to try to fix that problem. We're about to go on the scene to Barbara. Right now. Barbara's workplace where she's just about to come out. She hasn't had a makeover in five whole years. I mean really, a makeover in five years? What is she thinking? We're just waiting for her. There she is! There she is! Come on! Come on! Barbara! Barbara! Why don't you get a makeover? Barbara! Why don't you get a makeover? No. Your friends ran up? Why don't you get a makeover? Get off! Get off. Come on! Why don't you get a makeover? Manicure! Manicure! Please! Ha hairspray! 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 Barbara! Why don't you get hairspray? Barbara! Get the hairspray! Get it off! Right. Get it off! Not the not the camera! Not, not equipment! Not the equipment! Get off! Not my face! Not my face! Turn it off! Turn it off! Huh? Oh, it appears we're having some technical difficulties. Mandy! Mandy, are you okay? <sighs> well, Barbara was unable for questioning because she was very uncooperative. <sighs> Sorry. Had to do something with my hair. Well, there's no other stories here, I suppose. Um, right. What's happening here? Well, we'd better go back, eh? Doesn't matter. Well, there's no other story here, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Okay, come over here. Well, that concludes tonight's Blunt Affairs. See you next time!